Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And in this channel, I do shop with me trips and I do Dollar Tree hauls, other store hauls, and lots of DIYs. And today's video will be a DIY. And I'll be participating in the Valentine's DIY Challenge hosted by the wonderful Heidi Sambel DIY. And there's a playlist associated with this challenge. So when you're done watching my video, Please head on over to the playlist and watch the other participants. There's lots and lots and lots of wonderful talent here and lots of inspirations. So let's get on with it. Okay, so for my first DIY, I'm taking three of these heart-shaped grapevine wreath forms, these little mini ones, and I'm going to whitewash these wreath forms with a little bit of chalk paint and some water. So I have some water here and I'm just taking my brush with whatever I can get on there and just mixing it with water real quick and just going to brush these little wreath forms everywhere on both sides and on the top on the bottom everywhere and i don't want full coverage i just want bits and pieces of um, the white and then of course the whitewash and then of course the natural also so i think the best way to get this effect in this look is to just mix the chalk paint with the water and just brush it on so i'm just going to do this real quick it doesn't take long even though I did speed it up here for time purposes I didn't want this video to be like two hours long <laughs> you know how that can be so yeah I just brush them real quick and then I'll just set them aside to dry now I'm taking one of these bamboo cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to simply open it up take it out and taking a little bit of sandpaper and brushing off or sanding off some of the varnish that's on there and I'm not gonna take too much time with this just lightly sanding it is good enough for my purposes here and now I'm taking one of these little football games from the Dollar Tree in the toy section and these little games let me tell you they are real wood yes they are they're not MDF there, look at this they are real wood and these are really cute and they already have the holes on them and everything so oh my goodness if you see these pick them up because these are great for crafting so all i'm going to do with this i'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper and sand off some of the little edges that were like splintering a little bit since this is real wood so and it's solid wood so i'm just going to then clean it up real quick and now I'm going to just simply glue this, glue the game to the cutting board. And I'm taking some of the Aileen's Tacky Glue and a little bit of hot glue. And I'm just simply going to adhere it real quick to the cutting board in the center. So now I'm taking some of these tumbling tower blocks and I start off with, I think 12. I think I used 12 and all I'm going to do here is just do a quick little border that goes around the perimeter of 
this little game but I didn't want to have to cut any of the tumbling tower blocks they're a little bit thick so I just decided to go with it and make a unique border pattern and I kind of like the way it looks at the end so just bear with me here <laughs> okay so I'm just going to add these tumbling tower blocks and see it's, it's kind of like I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it and the best part about the fact that I'm using this Aileen's tacky glue is that I have the time and the freedom to move the tumbling blocks around unlike hot glue where once you glue it that's it you're committed so <laughs> I really really like this Aileen's tacky glue I really do especially for wood it works really well and it adheres very well so I don't even use any hot glue on this I'll just I'm going to wait for it to dry naturally and it doesn't take long it took maybe maybe I don't know 10 minutes for it to dry well enough for me to proceed so here I just go ahead and finish the other side and I'm not even going to worry about the fact that the glue gushes out a little bit on the bottom you won't even see it when we're done and I do wipe away a little bit of it but again like I said you're not going to see it not when I'm done we won't see it at all so here I'm just going to try to get everything straight I want everything to look cute and high-end so I want everything to look good so here I'm just wiping off a little bit so I set it aside so it'll dry and now I'm taking three of these bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut them at different lengths I want a longer one a shorter one and then a shortest one and now I'm going to take a little bit of this wave release chalk paint and the color truffle and I'm just going to quickly paint these little skewers and it doesn't take long just kind of paint them and roll them and paint them and roll them and then flip them over to the other side and do the same so this is like a really quick little paint job and it and since it's chalk paint it dries really really quickly so I really like that and now that my little heart wreaths are dry, I'm taking some of these baby's breath um, flowers and they come in pink, red, and then of course, the typical white ones. And so I'm just gonna snip off, I don't, I don't remember how many, I wanna say about 10 of them, about 10 red and about five or six pink and some white. So I just snip them off real quick so now I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm going to hot glue um, a few flowers here and there. There's really no pattern. I want it to look a little bit kind of more natural like they're growing out in nature. So I kind of double up a couple on one corner and put maybe a single one on the bottom and then another couple on the other side. And there's really no rhyme or reason. I just kind of just went with it and just placed them wherever. So. I did that to all three of them and added their flowers and now I'm going to take some of the white baby's breath that has a little bit different of texture they're like little tiny little beads on a stem and I'm just going to add those again not there's really not a pattern just wherever I felt like it would look cute so some flowers had it and some flowers didn't so I just put these on real quick and now I'm taking some of this reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't worked with the reindeer moss, oh my goodness, this stuff is like so soft. It's like not dry at all. It's very supple. Look at this. It just reminded me of parsley. It's always reminded me of parsley. <laughs> Look how soft. I like it because it's very fresh. So it gives my DIY a kind of a fresh look. Like it's very new and very high-end super cute so I'm just gonna take my hot glue put a couple dabs here and there and again no rhyme or reason just kind of place them wherever I felt like it would need a little bit of touch of green and especially if the wire that's in these little wreath forms if it's showing a lot then just put a little bit of uh, this moss on there and it'll help conceal it a little bit because the wire is kind of like a copper color like a dark bronze copper color and it kind of shows it, it 
doesn't really get painted with the white washing. So this helps a lot. This helps with kind of concealing that. And again, no rhyme or reason, just kind of just putting them wherever and just looking cute so far. Okay, so now that I'm done with these for now, I'm gonna set them aside and I'm gonna work on my stems. So here I found some of these uh, like dried up vines from my backyard. And look at this little moss. This little moss is like real Spanish moss from my backyard. <laughs> anyway, I scoured the jungles of my backyard for these pieces of vines, these dried up vines. And so I'm going to take these dried up vines and I'm going to hot glue them to my skewers and use these clips to help hold them in place and kind of kind of wind the vines to the stems and just adhering it with some glue, some hot glue and using these clips to keep them in place while they dry. So I'll do that to all three real quick. And I'm trying to use the ones with the little curly cues. Those, those little like vine little curly cues and so these were perfect because th they almost resemble the same vines that were on the little wreath forms so I thought that was so cute I was like so surprised that I found them so yeah I guess our summertime had we had a lot of uh, those vines and now that it's we're into winter they're all brown and and uh, old looking which meh they serve me a purpose, so I'll work with it for sure. Love using organic items. So here, here I have all three of my sticks, and as I wait for the glue to dry, and these little clips are great for that. They just, they're really, really good for that. And then you get them in the laundry section of the Dollar Tree. And look, they're looking so cute. All three of my little stems, so unique. Yes, so unique. Okay, going back to my base, I'm going to go ahead and paint it with this white chalk paint. And I'm just going to do one quick coat. And no, it's not going to be this white. It's just going to be white for now. But I'll be working with this while the paint's wet. So it'll, it'll look better than just pure white. So I'm going to paint this real quick. Like real quick. I'm going to speed it up. And while the paint is wet, I'm going to use my other brush that I painted my skewers with that had the brown paint. And with that same water, I'm just going to kind of like wet brush the wet paint and that'll give it the dimension that it needs so it won't be so white. And so I'm just going to brush this on and make sure it's blended well with the white paint. So you'll see at the end that it'll have some whiter areas and some darker areas. But yeah, this, this works well for me. So I use this method. And the very top, I'm not going to fuss over it because you're not going to see it at all. Not even a peak. But I will go over it with this same mixture just just because I had it. And you know, why not? But you're really not going to see it at all. Not really. It's going to be completely concealed. But I, you know, I thought, why not? I just had it, just had it there. So here are my stems, all ready to go, nice and dry, looking cute, looking interesting with all these little uh, curly cues hanging on it. So much interest. And here I'm going to kind of assemble them how I want them on my little heart wreath forms, and I'm just going to hot glue them onto there. And so I'll hot glue it and hold it for a minute until it starts to um, secure and dry up. And I use these little blocks to help hold them up a little bit. And that way I don't have to hold on to them for a full minute or anything. But I'll just add some glue and just wait for it to dry a little bit. And yeah, so I'll do that to all three of them. But I want to make sure that this is very secure because they are going to be standing straight up, freestanding, with nothing else behind them. So these little stems are it. <laughs> these little stems are it. So I'll wait for that to dry. It doesn't take long. Now I'm going back to my stand now that it's all dry. And as you can see, the paint, it blended very well. 
So now I'm taking some of these moss sheets and this is what's going to go on top of my little garden my little garden area and this almost fit perfect but it was it was not quite perfect so i had to turn it the other way and go ahead and cut it but that's okay i had it so you know i might as well use it so i have to take another little piece but i had just enough thank goodness because these are hard to find these little sheets they're really difficult to find so if you see them oh my goodness pick them up because they go so quick so here i kind of assembled it and I'm going to take my little, the, the other end of my skewers that I had snipped off. I'm going to use those to help find the holes where I want to put the stems. Because once you place these sheets on there, yeah, good luck finding the holes. <laughs> good luck. So yeah, kind of figure out where it is and put the little skewers on there. And that way you know where your holes are at. And then that you'll have an easier time placing these in there. But yeah, these little games are really fantastic. You know, they already, ha already have all the holes on them. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so here I'm just gonna adhere it with some hot glue and put them back in place. Make sure the skewers go back in the holes. I don't want them to lose their place. And I'll go ahead and add a little bit of more moss so you won't be able to see that it was cut. And make sure, again, like I said, make sure all your little picks are in the right place. You don't want to lose them for sure because that's going to be hard to find those holes. So now I'm ready to place my stems in place here. And this is going to be a little tricky because these things stand tall. They stand about 13 inches tall. So they're really close to my camera. And I do end up going to a different camera in a little bit so don't worry so here I put my second one and let me tell you these little holes oh my goodness a lot better than floral foam I think I think I mean they you can see it it took no time for these things to just stay there with a little bit of hot glue good glue too and now I'm going to take some of this ribbon this lacy ribbon and then these two different color gingham ribbons, this pink one, pink gingham, and a red gingham. And I'm going to create some little bows. And these sweet little bows are going to be doubled up with the gingham and the lace. And they're going to sit on the base of the little heart wreath forms right at the stem. So they'll be looking so cute and sweet. Oh my goodness, just adorable. And now I'm taking two of these little mini chalkboards that you get from the floral section of the Dollar Tree and I'm taking a white pen marker and I'm going to write on the first one I'm going to write love grows here and on the second one I'm going to write love is spoken here for Valentine's Day. And now I just need to add my bows to my garden hearts and so I'm going to add those real quick. So all I need to do is just add a bead of glue and press and hold it on there. Use my little clips from the Dollar Tree laundry section. <laughs> and look, they're holding up even with the clip weight on there. Yes, this is great. Okay, so now I'm doing the other one and then finally let it dry. Take the clip off and add my last little bow and clip that on there remove the other clip and oh my goodness I just love this process okay so here are my little 
my little chalkboards, my mini chalkboards, and so I'm going to add those on there real quick, and, I'm, and I'll be done. That's it. Beautiful. I just love the way it came out. It's just gorgeous. And let me tell you, this little garden is so sturdy. They aren't going anywhere, and I think they look so high-end, so cute. Okay, on to DIY number two. Okay, so for this DIY, you're going to start off with two of these little palettes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to paint them or anything, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But you're just going to remove all the stickers off of them. And this is going to be real quick, real easy. We're just going to attach them together with a little bit of hot glue. And so attach them, try to line them up as best you can. And then I'm wiping off the excess glue with my fingers. Don't worry, the glue didn't get too hot. So we're good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm taking two of these tumbling tower blocks that I had stained in brown from another project, but I didn't use them. So I'm just going to add those to the middle. Well, kind of like the back middle. So like the third, well, depending on where you look at it, second or third row and just gonna glue that with hot glue and now I'm taking a small popsicle stick one of the thin ones one of the small ones and I'm gonna snip off the two rounded ends just to make it long enough it'll fit in the gap and I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the popsicle stick and place it on the gap to help secure it better and so that's all I'm gonna do for the back and so now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm, now I'm going to take three of these little houses. I happen to have quite a few of these little houses. And thankfully they all said love and they had hearts on them. So now I'm taking some of these heart wood stickers from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to rip off the little, like the little glue dots. I'm not going to use that. And I'm just going to add some hot glue. And I'm going to cover up love on the first one. And I'm going to take another sticker pack that had the pink wooden little heart stickers. And remove the little glue dot and place that on my third little house and kind of cover up that love because I only need love on there one time I don't need love to be on there three times and I really like the look of the three colors the white the pink and the red so now I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the middle one the one that says love and I'm gonna stand it on top of the two tumbling blocks tumbling tower blocks that I had glued on to this double pallets and now I'm going to add the one with the red hearts and I'm just going to place that directly on the little pallet and then I'm just going to add the pink one and look it's given like a height it's given the middle one some height so I really like that look so now I'm going to add the third one directly to the pallet make sure it's lined up really well and look how cute. Now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna get just one of these thick jumbo popsicle sticks and cut it in half. I'm not gonna worry about the rounded end this time because you're not gonna see it. So I'm just gonna add some glue to the popsicle stick and kind of secure the seams. So I'll place one between one and two and then another one between two and three. And that way all the little houses are nice and secure and they won't be going anywhere. And so look how cute. Oh, so cute. But we still have to do some embellishing. They're still a little bit too plain. So I'm going to take some of this red berry garland. And I did find the red berry garland from this year's Valentine's Day collection. But it was a little bit too sparkly. And I really didn't want the sparkly look. Not for this project. So... This one I think was from fall, the fall collection. It's the burgundy one. And so I'm taking that one and I'm taking some of this white one and I think the white one came from Christmas, the Christmas collection. So I'm just gonna unwrap, unravel the plate where it's placed together, where it's raveled together. And it just so happens it's just enough what I needed. So I'm just gonna take the two strands and I'm going to kind of intertwine them onto each other so they'll be more of a of a controlled kind of look that way they won't be too wild looking one going one way one going the other way <laughs> so 
I'll just place it on there and I'll pull it and I'll uh, attach them with each other on there and then that's it. That's it for this portion. And now even though I know this is going to be looking so cute, I was thinking, oh my goodness, let's gild the lily a little bit more. So I have the leftover white baby's breath from the previous project. So I'm going to use some of those and to embellish and give a little bit of a greenery and a little bit of another uh, layer of interest of texture to this little setup, this little tabletop decor. And so I'm just going to add it to the two sides of the houses and actually all, all sides of the houses will receive a little bit of this baby's breath. And look how cute. It's looking so cute. But you know me, you gotta gild the lily a little bit more. Yeah, I had the extra fairy lights from another project. And so I decided, let's light it up. Let's give it a little bit of light. So I'm just gonna simply just wrap these around the top of the little houses. And now I'm done. <laughs> I promise, I'm done. This is it. <laughs> And look how cute! Super cute! And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. We have so many fun things coming up. So to my next video, which will probably be Monday. Have a great, great weekend. Bye-bye.